I'm going to show you how to activate the Power Duplicate functionality. This behavior is present in all Affinity apps, but I will show you some contextual uses for Affinity Photo. First, I'll use the Move tool and select this Energy Ball layer. Then I'll duplicate it using Command J on Mac, Control J on Windows. I'll move it across to the right, holding Shift to constrain it along the horizontal axis. Then I'll scale it down. I can hold Command on Mac, Control on Windows to scale around the center of the layer rather than the corner. So, since duplicating this layer, I have moved it to the right and scaled it down. Without switching away to another tool, if I duplicate again, these operations will be repeated using the relative transform values from the previous duplication. I can duplicate repeatedly to create multiple copies that gradually become smaller. This also works for rotation, so I will show you this on another example. I have this layer here called Fireballs. I'll select the Move tool again, then duplicate this layer. And I will rotate it, holding Shift to constrain the rotation to 15 degree increments. I'll let go of the mouse button once I have rotated by 30 degrees. Now when I duplicate, it will repeat that rotation relative to the previous one, and this quickly allows me to build up a strong repetitive effect. Finally, Power Duplicate can be used for more practical workflows, such as texturing floor plans and diagrams. With this diagram, I will zoom all the way into the staircase, and then I'm going to click drag this wood texture JPEG file in to place it. Now, if I hold Option on Mac, Alt on Windows, when letting go of the mouse button, I can now drag to place the image at an initial scale of my choosing. I can also hold Shift to perform non-proportional scaling, which allows me to fit the wood texture into the white area of the step here. Then, once I'm zoomed out, I can hold Command on Mac, Control on Windows when click dragging to clone the layer. I'll hold Shift to constrain the vertical alignment, then let go of the mouse button. Now I can duplicate several times to quickly fill out the stairs with the wood texture. As a final step, I can select all of my duplicated layers, then group them using Command G on Mac, Control G on Windows. Then I will add a brightness and contrast adjustment and I will clip this layer into the group by click dragging and letting go of the mouse button over the thumbnail. Finally, I'll just push the brightness slider up, allowing me to brighten all of the wood image layers together. And there we go. That was a quick look at power duplication. I hope you found it useful and thank you for watching.